Good evening and welcome. This is our last evening, our last Wednesday evening worship service. Of course, uh, Holy Week is next week, and so we have services on Thursday and Friday, and then on Sunday there are some half-sheet inserts back there with the schedule if you're interested. Um, for the sake of our service tonight, uh, I would just remind you that we have some prayer cards in the back that you're invited to fill out. Uh, if you're here in person, you can bring these up and drop them in the basket up front during one of the canticles. If you're watching via live stream, you can use the chat function in YouTube to make your prayer requests there. Um, Following the service, we, we made the announcement earlier, but following the service, we're going to be moving chairs and furniture off the carpet so that the carpets can be cleaned uh, tomorrow. And that'll happen both in this space and in the next space. If you're willing and able to stay and help with that, um, you can meet Jill up front if you want to work in this space, and I'll be helping clear off furniture in the fellowship space if you'd be willing to do that. I also uh, want to just remind you this is the last uh, Wednesday and so uh, we have been pursuing this goal of raising $10,000 for our endowment uh, that is a legacy for giving in our community. Our goal was $10,000. We are right at $7,000 right now, so we're doing pretty good, uh, but we're running out of time, so if you want to be part of that, uh, this would be a good time. Uh, that is it for our announcements. We'll continue with our worship. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. A light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Please stand as you are able. <clears throat> Joy is light. and day. May the light 
light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. I invite you to be seated and invite the women to take the first part, the men the second. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. <clears throat> Next psalm is on your insert. Salvation shining bright, 
God of grace and mercy, you are the refuge of all who seek you. You are the shelter of all who wait in hope for you. Set our feet firmly on your pathway and guide us by the light of your truth so that we might faithfully follow you all the days of our lives. We ask this through Jesus the Christ. Amen. Reading from Psalm 32. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At a time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. And a reading from uh, a book called The Celebration of Discipline. This is a wonderful book, by the way, if anybody wants to explore a little more deeply some of the things that we've touched upon in our Lenten series this year. This really looks at many of the disciplines um, that we might practice in Lent beyond even some of the ones we've talked about. This one is regarding confession. Confession is so difficult a discipline for us, partly because we view the believing community as a fellowship of saints before we see it as a fellowship of sinners. We come to feel that everyone else has advanced so far into holiness that we are isolated and alone in our sin. We could not bear to reveal our failures and shortcomings to others. We imagine that we are the only ones who have not stepped into the high road of heaven. Therefore, we hide ourselves from one another and live in veiled lies and hypocrisy. But if we know that the people of God are first a fellowship of sinners, we're freed to hear the unconditional call of God's love and to confess our need openly before our brothers and sisters. We know we are not alone in our sin. The fear and pride which cling to us like barnacles cling to others also. We are sinners together. In acts of mutual confession, we release the power that heals. Our humanity is no longer denied but transformed. The followers of Jesus Christ have been given authority to receive the confession of sin and to forgive in his name. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. What a wonderful privilege. Why do we shy away from such a life-giving ministry? If we, not out of merit, but sheer grace, have been given the authority to set others free, how dare we withhold this great gift? As Dietrich Bonhoeffer says in Life Together, our brother has been given to us to help us. He hears the confession of our sins in Christ's stead and he forgives our sins in Christ's name. He keeps the secret of our confession as God keeps it. When I go to my brother to confess, I'm going to God.
the light shines in the darkness.
keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. Pray for Angie and Micah who are frustrated and looking for work. God of mercy, hold us in love. For Hattie, Kelsey, and Jesse, may they find a babysitter and their way to God. God of mercy, hold us in love. We pray for Paula who is diagnosed with cancer, stage four for strength, faith, and peace. God of mercy, hold us in love. We pray for Janice, who's facing a difficult pregnancy. God of mercy, hold us in love. We pray for a dear daughter, who, to, that she get the help she needs for depression and suicidal thoughts. Pray for wisdom for our family. God of mercy, hold us in love. Pray for all young people searching to find a place in this world. We pray for Norbert, brother to Uli and for Uli himself. We pray for Florence Towers, who has declining health. God of mercy, hold us in love for all the beloved who rest in your mercy. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to stand as you are able. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and praise to you. May God, creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for Go in God's peace. Thank you, God. Share that peace with one another. <laughs>